Hi, everybody. It's me. I'm leaving out of town just till Saturday. Just a quick trip. Um, anyway, I just wanted to throw some stuff out for you. I've been getting a lot of requests. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is a little, sort of a final, final of what I've been picking up on Epstein. Um, Barr came to see him before, two, about a couple of days before he crossed. Interesting that he did that uh, trust a couple of days before. But also, it's also interesting that a young woman went to the lawyer's area and he was alone with her for two hours. My connection to source is telling me that part of the reason he was able to do all that is um, Barr was letting him to believe that everything was gonna be okay. And just as long as we don't include the president. And is there anything else you need to tell me or where I need to look to make sure I get rid of this? Because although he's acting like he really wants to work on this, he wants to work to make sure that him and or his father, Doug, uh, what's his name? Something bar. It's the same thing as the president. What's the president's name? I just went blank on his name. Um, president Donald. Donald Barr um, wrote a book on sex slavery. So anyway, up to no good. That's why Epstein was hired um, on sex slavery. He wrote a book on. And also, um, so I've got to tell you, energetically, I still say he was murdered. I still say it's that it was like boom, boom. I feel like the camera situation was a setup Bar coming in was a setup, almost giving him hope because the attorneys also were like, what happened? He was in a good mood. He thought everything was fine because he had been told everything was fine. So, but they were, uh, I think he went in there trying to be Epstein's friend to find out what more he had on Trump or his father. Um, so anyway, yeah, got that as clear as day. It was bada bing, bada boom, boom. It all made sense. And it will be found out, by the way. So just know it's not hidden. Okay, so I wanted to tell about that, about Epstein, that I still picked up murder. Okay, Epstein. And now, I wanted to look at the Amazon fires. You guys have really been acting asking me about the Amazon fires, which are devastating. Oh, that's really weird. So there's a president or somebody who's saying he believes somebody else did the fires. I just saw that. He was on the news this morning. Oh, I think so-and-so deliberately do them to affect us. Who's doing the fires? I'm almost feeling like it's that president, but he wants to blame others or create havoc with others. I don't know anything about the politics in Brazil, you guys. Tell me about the Amazon fires. What can you tell me about the Amazon They were definitely started, deliberately started. That I can tell you. But it just was just, it's really sad. God bless our children. It's just really ugly. It definitely a man started it. I wonder if they were, this is what I'm getting. It's about money. Were they holding up people's ability to clear the Amazon forest so they decided to take a light, a match to it so they could build on it or do something else? It's not good, you guys. It's going to change a lot of things. It's going to change the Earth's um, atmosphere. It's, it's not good. Um... A lot of money I'll have to be poured into it. That I heard. Jesus, think of all the animals that are dying too. That lived in the Amazon. Anyway. It's 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 not going to be Armageddon, but it's going to be pretty changing things. Like we might have to just understand we're going to live in a hotter universe. So, 
Okay, so I did the Amazon, and then last but not least, Trump is whacked out. God bless him. Well, I mean, he's whacked out. He's, I gotta tell you, the other day, I must have had a pretty significant dream because when I woke up, I actually had that excitement like, oh my God, he's gone. He's not here anymore. And I'm feeling not anxious, even when he does these horrible things, one minute, yeah, the gun thing, next minute, no. Uh, people have a right to bear arms. He's a putz. But I am the second coming and all that? What's going on? He, it's like, here's what I want you to know. Remember I told you before, people are gathering. They're gathering around the table and they're saying, we might have to take this guy out. Not necessarily kill him, but, you know. His people that love him are in the 98%. They will love him. It doesn't matter what he says. doesn't matter if he gets caught with his pants down. It doesn't matter that he lies 24-7. Some client wrote me and said she told her mother that he said he was the second coming, and she didn't believe her. She said, Mom, it's just YouTube it. You can see it. It's on the, why, you don't believe me? She says, well, you, you don't like him, so. But this second coming thing has made, caused people to pause. What's going on with Donald Trump, guys? Can you tell me? Can you tell me what's going on with Donald Trump? What's going on with Donald J. Trump? He's just bouncing off the walls, and I see his face beat red. He's just throwing things. He's throwing them, like, you know, maybe if we throw this out, it'll work. You know, Mr. Bankruptcy is going to tell us about the economy. Mr. Grabbing by the you-know-what is going to tell us about being nasty. Oh, and you don't talk to a president of the United States like that. You don't treat America like that. Hello, you told Obama he wasn't even born here. He talked trash about everybody. He was mad at Obama for take, taking too many uh, uh, trips. So his he knows he's in trouble, you guys. This I will tell you. That's what he always says. Um, he's not feeling well. He definitely is not feeling well. And he's looking at the exits. So remember, I do see, I think they're going to start doing stuff uh, when they get back. It's a shame they're making us wait till they get back. But I do see people gathering trials, stuff like that. But what's going to happen is he's going to make a deal and say, okay, listen, I'm going to step down, but Pence, you're going to forgive me for everything. Like Ford did for Nixon. I see Pence saying yes. Because I i don't know. I, I mean, I'm not feeling like he'll be able to run because there's just too much. What's going to happen? Will Pence be president even for a short term? See, they're going to go in and they're going to find out that Russia got this man in. So he is not a legit president. They also will find out he's been laundering money for a foreign agent. So there's so many criminal things here that I feel like energetically, I feel them saying, nah, he's, he's not a legitimate president. They will work, and I've told you this before, they'll work hard to remove everything that this man represented. Everything he touches, how he changes things, the judges he puts in, they're all going. They're all going. Kavanaugh's going. <laughs> Oops. Yep. Okay, now see, Pence will try to get in there, but something's gonna happen. And we're all excited about it. Yeah, Kevin will try to get in and things are gonna change and a woman is very powerful here. I mean, some people are saying uh, that they think Elizabeth Warren's gonna win. I'm not saying no, because I saw a woman and a man. So I would be great if she won. God, can you imagine? 
Pocahontas wins and he's like furious. He's still going to try to cause trouble on the side, but so much is going to come down on him. It's just like even his own family is holding their nose because he can't save them. So, yeah, you guys, um, Pence is upside down. So I, I just feel America gets stronger and we're like battling and saying, no, all you guys need to go. Well, you guys, that's all for now. Uh, I'm going to bring my little camera thing so I can do, because uh, a lot of things I was supposed to do down there, I was supposed to meet John Cusack down there in Costa Mesa. Um, that got canceled. Another friend of mine I was supposed to hook up with, that got canceled. But in a way, it's kind of cool because I can actually relax. I can catch up on some reading. And I can sit down and maybe do another video, you know, with more details. All right. Love y'all. Take care.